Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today we're doing a review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. Yes, we have two Galaxy S4 devices here and first thing I'm going to warn you that this is going to be a lengthy review. We're going to take time in jumping into describing the different features in this device, um, see how well they function and all those other things. So we're going to jump in right now into the Galaxy S4 review. All right, so let's take a better look at the Galaxy S4 hardware. You have two different color variants. Of course, you have the white and you have the black. And actually, you can tell the difference in the feel of the back. This feels a little bit uh, slippery in the white version, the black, not so much. You've got a 13 megapixel camera on the device. As you can see, it's got that nice uh, metal finishing around the edges with, of course, the power button, IR blaster, which we'll get to later, 3.5 mm jack, uh, volume rocker, your standard home button. And of course, if we open this up, reveals, of course, um, you do have a micro SD card, which can expand to 64 gigabytes. Uh, you also have your micro SIM and you do have your battery here. Um, so, and it's got this, you know, it's very thin cover, so you can actually, of course, replace this uh, with a wireless charging cover. Uh, once that becomes available. So let's use one Galaxy S4 first in this video. Uh, so a couple of things to note again, the front face, uh, sorry, the, the front uh, screen is a five inch uh, 1080p display with four, um, I believe that's 440 PPI. Um, a lot of gesture controls in Galaxy S4. One of them is the, the air gesture controls to allow you to quickly check um, updates on your device. So if I do this, that shows up that you know there's, there's something going on on my device and actually i can see what's going on there between the applications so i have that there there's also customized a lot of customization with the galaxy s4 i can actually have my name there at thunder e and it's quite simple i can actually edit it from here if i'm not mistaken let's go ahead and do that pull it down to edit tap to edit and then you can go in and change the name, change the color, all those kind of things. There. So there's a lot of things you can do just to customize and make this, you know, feel appropriate. So add the color. My color there is red. I could change it to say a green or something. Um, let's do that this time. Let's make it. Let's make it blue. Well, let's make it green actually, and then save. So we can change the color and do all those things. So anyway, let's go ahead and unlock the device. So our Galaxy S4 is powered by a quad-core processor. This is the Snapdragon version, two gigs of RAM. There are a lot of things that are new and added here. So if we move in a little closer so you guys can get a slightly better look. Pulling down the notification bar, you do have, of course, the expanded um, ability to turn on and off uh, your settings. So you do have expanded settings and you see S-Beam, uh, NFC, air gesture, um, Air view, smart stay, smart scrolling, all those things um, you can actually access directly from your notification bar, which is nice. And also the settings also has changed a bit. So you do have now settings separated by four bars and you have connections, which you can go in there and check your NFC and all those kind of connectivities. Uh, you have your device checking, change stuff in your lock screen, your lock screen display, um, you can also go into your display options in here and a couple of things you can actually add, um, of course, as well as your battery display and head back out. And then your accounts, which you have things to, for all your accounts on the device. And of course, you do have your permissions more in all those other categories. So it's a slightly different layout. And this, of course, is running Android 4.2.2. So the latest version of Android is running on this device. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of, of things that are a fresh and new and some of the air gestures of course you can see um, can be used uh, best place to actually look at these is actually in the gallery so looking at air view air view is quite simple um, of course just hover your finger above it and you can see I can easily pop up I'm not touching the screen I can hover and open up different uh, look at different things and different albums this also works in text messaging I'm not going to show you because I have text there but you can actually hover above a text message and, and preview the message itself so it does work in certain aspects of the device and um, of course you can scroll down and look and hover and see different 
whether it's videos, different albums, things like that. So I can always hover and then I can tap into You've it. got uh, motion control, so you can actually swipe through photos and move left and right quite easily, uh, which is something that's quite nice. Now, some people may say, well, you know, this is gimmicky, but I actually found this quite useful, especially uh, in my case, I do a lot of cooking and imagine if you're cooking and you want to actually go through maybe um, a web, web page recipes or things like that. And you can actually show you that with the web page, but it doesn't work with Google Chrome. You have to actually use the standard uh, internet browser. And in the standard browser here, um, you can actually go in. Let's go to border work here. So I can navigate up and down. So I can actually do this and navigate. So like I said, if I'm cooking and I really want to touch my phone because my hands are messy, I can actually navigate through, which is something that's great. The other thing is also you can answer telephone calls with things like the dialer also have gotten some, some slight makeover, but nothing too drastic. You can see the color change. You can see also the different uh, dialer look. So if we say bring our old dialer look here, um, color wise color scheme has changed a little bit more vibrant to give you a better uh better look and feel on the device a couple of things uh, to note in terms of applications you've done some other application things uh to to boost and, and change the way it is so you have things like of course like the smart scroll as well as uh the smart stay with video the best way to do is actually just to look directly at the device and then tilt your head up or down oh, you can't really see my head but you can see the phone's not moving so I'm gonna tilt my head up, scroll up, tilt my head down to scroll down. Now, usually there'll be a smart stay icon that pops up like that, that says it's active and you can scroll. Doesn't work too well in low light, but it's something that uh, they can work with. Now, the other thing also is that we can look at um, smart pause. Now that works, of course, just mostly with the gallery and let's head out of there. Let's go into camera. Let's look at some of the videos here that we took yesterday. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. So here's the right again. You can see I'm looking back at you and it's paused. If I look back at it again, it starts. So I'm looking back at you guys. It's paused. I look at it again and it's playing. So this works with, of course, uh, the in-camera application the video application this doesn't work with you uh, s health you can see it right there and s health allows you to uh, basically manage a lot of your health uh, goals if you will so right now i have walkmate which basically is just a pedometer and allows me to put in goals i have a goal of 10,000 steps a day and i have not hit any of those which means I'm quite lazy, but you do have other things. You have exercise mode, you can put a food tracker, so to track the kind of food you're putting in breakfast, calories and things like that, I haven't actually jumped into that, but it's quite easy to just add whatever food groups you want. You can you take photos, gallery, or you can add the food information also. So that's something that is that is nice to have. Then you do have comfort levels of surrounding, gives you the rough t uh, temperature with the barometer and sees you the, the temperature range you're looking at and what you're trying to get. So it's at 85 degrees, weight of course, and as well you can go into the broad settings here so this is a uh, very interesting tool um, like I said and even though a lot of people might call this gimmick I do like the fact that it is in there and it does uh, something for you. actually group play which allows you to play music um, and share with different Galaxy S4 so if you click on group play um, we can create we don't need to set up a password create group play turn on mobile AP and what this does is allows us to share music uh, pictures, documents, and also games. So you can actually have a, a two gaming setup. So we're gonna load and we'll, we'll go in and select select a track. So let's scroll through Casey and the Sh Sunshine Band. And um, let's pick two songs there, hit okay. So this will start playing. As you can see here, it's one Galaxy S4. So to actually share, you just have to pair it. Let's see if this happens. Actually, let's unlock this first. So that is connecting group play. So this, while this is connecting, I'll just show you that in a second. So you can see that's left speaker 
and this is now the right speaker and we do have mask controls on one of the devices so you can see left or right we have volume I can cut off one speaker I can reduce one I can increase the other which is this or I can reduce the whole volume now you can connect up to eight uh, Galaxy S4 to so actually do this and you can see the left and right speaker and you can actually alternate which which one is which but you get the general idea and it allows you to create a nice uh, sound environment using your Galaxy S4 to so pretty much play music so there is one more application we would like to show you uh, that is actually important it deals with the IR blaster uh, and the application is watch on which helps you control your TV as well as your DVR box so we're taking a look at the watch on application that allows you to of course uh, control your TV and cable box using your Galaxy S4 because of the IR sensor that's placed on top so you have the ability to look at TV and video now video here of course takes you to Samsung's video app store to actually download uh, movies to watch which you can actually watch either on your device or um, on your TV you can send to your TV now this will work with either uh, with the Samsung TV or any other TV because it does have codes for all the TVs you can see we have different uh, stations here I can see sports centers on so I can click watch now and let's see if we can change that to sports center so it does change it does take some time it's not as fast as your typical remote control but you can see we're on sports center so which is nice and you can like dislike you can share also via social media you do also have the ability to bring up your remote control like a standard remote feature so you have a power off button volume up and down if the volume is controlled by your TV and not say a sound bar in our case channel up and down you do have of course your number pad which you can bring up uh, source link mute if we slide down we have more controls here with TiVo um, the guide button live TV so if we hit guide it brings up the guide button there you can see this guides on the TV we can also take uh, hit OK clear that out we do have some of the Samsung TV buttons also and some media controls um, in case of course if you have a Samsung DVD player or Blu-ray player actually to be precise you have live functions for TiVo uh, it's still basic but gives you enough functionality that you can you can use in case in like most people your remote control is underneath your couch so this is something you whip out of your pocket and use and control so there are many applications and uses with the Galaxy S4 um, the device has a very fast processor just to summarize things for you um, it's quite speedy uh, it's also got numerous numerous um, additives or you know some people will call it gimmicks that Samsung has added in here but uh, we've taken a good look at all of them and let's give you our final thoughts on what we think of the Samsung Galaxy S4 the question you're probably asking after watching this is you know should I buy the Galaxy S4 I say yes I say if you're upgrading from Galaxy S3 definitely you will definitely feel that it's, it's a different device to me the feel it feels different it holds different it's lighter and also functions much better and you have all the added functionality if you're looking for the a solid all-around Android phone I think this is the best right there I think it covers that gambit and I think you know this for me is a definite buy so the Galaxy S4 is a definite buy guys and I say you should definitely pick it up Ooh, that's actually upside down so if you have any questions or any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter Facebook and YouTube it's all border work with two so this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoying entertainment